This is NBC5 News at 10 on Cozy. One man is arrested and an investigation is underway after a double homicide in Klamath County. Thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 10 on Cozy. I'm Andrea Boyd. According to the Klamath Falls Police Department, it happened Saturday morning on North Hills Drive. That's our top story tonight at 10. Police say soon after arriving to a reported menacing, shots were heard. One victim died at the scene, another at the hospital. Two others were found with life-threatening gunshot wounds. The suspect, 20-year-old Elijah Croy was arrested on multiple charges, including two counts of murder in the first degree. The investigation is ongoing. If you have any information regarding the case, reach out to Klamath Falls Police. NBC 5's Jenna King has more on an efforts or the family involved. Jenna. Andrea, the two sisters who passed away are 19-year-old Alika and 14-year-old Zion. We're told the two were more than sisters, they were best friends. Friends say Alika loved to read, always thriving to educate herself. She had plans to attend college in Sacramento this fall. Zion loved to play video games, hang out with friends, and travel. The two leave behind their father, Tashka Qualls, a well-known tattoo artist in Klamath Falls. April Keating works with Tashka and says he's very close with his girls. I don't know if Tashka's ever going to be the same, you know? Like, I... It, things will get better, but it's not, you know, I don't, I don't feel like anybody ever really overcomes from losing children. A GoFundMe has been set up to cover the funeral expenses for Alika and Zion. So far, it's already raised $36,000. If you would like to donate, we will have a link to it on our website, klbi5.com. Live in studio, Jenna King, NBC5 News.